Hey guys, it's Lexi, and I'm playing Fallout New Vegas today. I thought I would do a little tutorial on how to play the game of Caravan. Uh, you first get introduced to Caravan from Ringo in Good Springs, and he gives you a back of Careful, bags. they got spies all over. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, so, uh, Ringo will actually sit there and play with you for as long as you want, and you can learn how to play the game through him, uh, unless you accidentally killed him, in which case you don't get that benefit. But there are a bunch of other people throughout the Mojave that play this game, and it is a really, really good way to make extra cash and get free stuff. Um, so you need the cards, you need money, um, and a little bit of mapping ability. So I'm going to play with Nobark Noonan, this guy's like super crazy, so he's a joy to talk to because of all the random shit he says, but he also plays Caravan, and he will play with you as many times as you want to. Um, a few of the other characters, basically anyone... Careful, they got spies all over. Yes, thank you. Basically anyone who's selling something uh, will only play five times with you, so you'll want to make the most of that, and I do recommend before you play someone that you save your game right before just in case you like lose horribly and didn't want to lose your money okay so let's play you've seen them too haven't you i can see it in your eyes i knew i wasn't the only one <laughs> yep. okay so you go down to want to play a game of caravan sure old no bark is always looking to play not for entertainment mind you but because if you look at the cards right, you can know the future. Lovely. Okay, so here's your first caravan screen. Um, this here shows how much he's betting. Here's the total amount you have. I've made almost all of this playing caravan, by the way. Uh, so you can auto match him, which will put 428 there. Uh, you can also raise him. And I like to raise the other players just to see how much I can get out of them. Especially if you're playing against some of the people who only play five times. You want to get as much money out of them as you can because you only have those five hands. Okay, so I'm going to raise him. Just some arbitrary amount. Go with that. And he went up to 497. So this is your last chance to quit. If you want to get out of it, press R. Otherwise, press F to accept. And these are the PC controls. I'm playing on PC right now, so... Um, let's see. So this is your caravan deck. It looks a little confusing. It's actually the same deck. It's just these cards, the ones that are flipped over, are the ones you're going to be using in the actual game. And these are your all your cards that you have. So I'll kind of show you. I'll randomize it first, and then kind of go through and show you how I would set up a deck. So I'm using left and right arrows to scroll through the cards. That's not obviously apparent when you're playing this. Uh, so you, my recommendation is to start at the beginning here, and you want to keep ace through five all one color. Uh, you can choose red or black, but I just recommend sticking your ace through five all one color. So. This one, I want the red. I'll just go with red this time. So W will add that to my deck. I don't want this one, so I press A, 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 W. Oh wait, that's up there. Okay. So those three reds are there. Um, I don't want that one. I want the reds. I don't want that one. I want these reds. W to add them. Don't want the black. A. 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 Okay. And then from six all the way up through jack, you want to keep all of your cards. So add in anything that's flipped over. Add it in. You can purchase. 
purchase more caravan cards, like from some of the vendors, you'll see they'll just have random cards. I recommend, oops, sorry, uh, I recommend if you're going to buy cards, buy ones that are uh, by jacks and kings. Um, leave out all of the queens. You do not need them. So press A to remove any queens. And you want to keep all of your kings. And you get like a couple jokers, and I have honestly no idea what they do, so just leave them out. So keep all your jacks, ditch all the queens, keep all your kings, and you don't need the jokers. Okay, so when you're all set with your deck, go ahead and press F to play caravan. So this space up here belongs to your opponent, and this space down here belongs to you. And the object of the game is to make three piles of cards, or caravans, and you want those cards to add up to a number between 21 and 26. And you want to be the highest without going over 26 before the other person does. So these are my cards, they're face down like his, but honestly able to see them <coughs> and so pretty much what you do is to cycle through these cards you press the arrow keys and that allows you to choose which card from your hand you want to play and I would recommend just picking like three of your highest cards of different suits so I'm gonna start with a 10 you press W to select it and W to place it and these are your first three base cards, so the first three cards you pick are going to start off here and here. Okay, so there is a suit driven aspect of this. Oh, he just jacked my fucking card. Okay, so that's what a jack does. Uh, you keep jacks and kings because they do have a special ability. All of the other cards, ace through ten, are face value. So here's keeping a tally of what you have down and how much each pile is worth. Uh, Jax will remove the card that you place it on. I think it will remove up to two of those. So if somebody has like two tens and you put a jack, it'll remove both of those. So that's what jacks do. <laughs> and the other players like to use that a lot on the first hands. I don't know why, but like that. So I need to pick a new card for there. And I'm gonna go with this eight. And he just jacked it again. Motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. No problem. We'll put this five. I like to keep them all separate suits, like clubs, diamonds, and hearts, or you know whatever. Just as long as these are all different suits, it makes it easier because. If you stay within the same suit when you place your cards on top of this, you can go up or down in number, either way. If you change up suit, like if I stuck the 7 here, the only other card that I could put on top of that 7 is something higher than a 7, or another club of a different number. So it goes by, there's a flow, so like if you go up or down, if I put a 4 here of a different suit, I would only be able to place a 3 of something else on it unless it was another card of the same suit, if that makes sense. So you'll see here, let's get moving. So I'm gonna take the seven, throw it here. So when you press W, the default is to set it right next to your first card. And it's red, which means you can't place it there. So in order to put it in position, you press down or up arrow keys to move the card around. And, that'll, and then press W to place it. See why that's important in a minute because you can also sabotage your opponent's deck by putting, or their caravans, by putting jacks or kings on top of them. And I don't have any kings right now, but a king doubles the value of the card that you put it on. Uh, so if I put a king on his 10, that would make that 32 basically. It would double this to 20. So, so 20, yeah. 
It's math, whatever. <laughs> uh, so 73. If I put this 6, it'll give me 23. So we'll do that. Alright, there's my king. So I'll show you what you can do with the king. I can either use it on my side to double a card, or I can put it on his to sort of sabotage him. Because I want to have my my three piles higher than his as much as possible so he doesn't get ahead of me so puts it there I'm gonna move it up and over and put it on his 10 press W to place it so put him up to 32 all right I have some hearts here to play so take move them over to my hearts ah, fuck. all right yeah he did the same thing to me <laughs> with that king. And let's see, 33. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna work on my other one here. Okay, what he just did is he discarded track. If you really fuck up one of your piles, you can press E. I'll show you. If you press E, it kind of lifts up that pile, and you can pick which one by using the arrow keys. And you can just press E, or I'm sorry, press W to select which pile, and it'll totally go away. So if you get like, if he stacks up like three kings on this one, I can't remove it with a jack. I can't remove that king, so I have to get rid of that pile. And they'll do that. Sometimes they'll push you up to like 60, 70 on your cards. Uh, to cancel, because I don't want to discard mine, um, press R and it will cancel what you're doing. same suits as much as you can. Um, what the queens do, and this is why I left him out, is because it just sort of complicates things, but a queen will allow you to change suit and change direction. So like let's say all I had was, let's see, I'm going 9-8 so I could put a 7 there of a different color, but um, let's say I had an ace here. Well, I'm kind of stuck unless I put a queen on top of it, then I can put whatever card I want. So it kind of gives you the ability to change suit and direction at will. Um, but if you leave them out, the other team or the other person does not seem to have them in their deck either. So just leave them out and if you pick all of your ace through five cards as uh, one color and then keep all six all of your cards from six through jack, it doesn't seem to be an issue of needing the queens. So that's just, that's how that is. I can take this king and stick it. Yeah, I put it here. That'll give me 26. Fuck. Until he jacks it away. Damn it. Sorry. jacked his own pile, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah, if I change suits, the only card that I have in my hand that I could put here would be this ace. I guess I could do that. 
that, and then I can maybe go back up by two. So let's do that. I'm sure he'll mess it up somehow anyway. Oh, see there, back up at the six. And that's 26. I really need a jack, or I need to get rid of this pile to win. I'm going to discard it and try it again. I think I'm a little bit ahead. So I press E, select that pile, press W to get rid of it. Yeah, if you can avoid discarding cards and discarding tracks, then do it because it's kind of a, it wastes. somehow. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure why I won that one. Maybe because he went over. Or, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um, so that is how you play. I'm trying to face the wall and chain. That's how you play Caravan. Um, if you pretty much follow the way that I set up my deck, I mean, I, you pretty much win most of the time. As long as you have like a little bit of strategic mapping ability. Um, and like I said, so the way you can get free stuff out of this is there are a few people who play this game that also sell stuff. So like that guy who works in this dinosaur, Cliff, uh, he sells things and he also has this fancy gun that I'm holding called That Gun. Uh, he sells it for like, uh, like 1,100 bottle caps or something. So if you save the game, go into his place, buy this gun, and then play him a hand of caravan, he will have he'll ba he'll basically bet you the amount that this gun costs because you just gave him the money for it, so he has that money to spend on caravan. So as long as you win after that, you got this gun for free. Um, I know you can also steal it from that storage room, but then you lose karma, so. But you can also do that with like ammunition, as much as you want to spend. You can buy stuff from the people who are vendors and then play them caravan and win all it back. So pretty much get free ammunition, free stim packs, and like I said, that will work up to five times. So make sure that you have a game left that you can win your stuff back. And it's getting dark, so I will end that here. Um, I think if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll also leave a list of the people who play um, in the Mojave Desert here in the comments. And hope this was helpful. Thanks. Bye.